Hi, this is Brian Terry here from BigSellingWebsiteDesign.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to slice up a web page. Now to do that it's very simple. The first thing you need to do is you need to actually plan out where all those slices are going to be. In this case we're going to actually create the header panel here as a separate image but of course as you can see it's all part of one single page and slicing really separates all these graphics, graphical elements up for you. So. As I say, the first thing we need to do is to actually plan where those slices are going to be, and you do that just by dragging in guides from the rulers on the side of the page. And as you can see, I've done all this already, and so the first thing I'm going to do is to create, start actually start creating the slices. And to do that, you need to go to the Slice tool here, which is just in the toolbar on the side there, and then just drag up from each corner. So this is going to be our first slice for the header panel of the... Um, web page which is actually going to be a direct response website and this is going to be a sales letter page as you can see we've got various other graphical elements as well that are going to be part of it um, and of course you need to separate this all out so we can actually combine it all together within HTML so let's get back to slicing so the first thing I've done is sliced up the uh, header panel image there the next thing I need to do is to create a background image that runs all the way through the back of the page which is going to be a repeatable image and the table that holds everything together within HTML. Um, so let's see, that, that's going to be the repeatable background image or the page holder image. And as you can see here, we've got a table which is going to be a Johnson box with a testimonial in it. And so what we'll do is again create more of these slices. We'll slice up the header section of it and then we'll slice up the footer section. It should come up in a minute. There we go. And then we slice up the footer section of the table box like so and then we need to do a background image again which is going to be the repeatable background image so it doesn't matter how deep the box is going to be it will always there will always be a background image that follows all the way down and then we need to just go to the other tool here and select the tool the slices and just touch them up a little bit just clean them up that's just too deep so make that a bit uh, narrower there now what we need to do is we actually need to give each slice a name because what we're going to be doing is outputting this image into separate files and of course each file needs to have its own name. Now in order to do that we need to make sure we select this slice tool here then we just double click on it and we'll have a slice options window come up and so we can call this one header for example and okay that and then we've got another one here which is of course the background image double click on that and call that uh, background. Now let's call it page holder that makes more sense page holder so that's that done and then we have a table header so double click again table header then we have the background image again this is going to be table holder and then we have table footer so double click table footer okay so that's all of our sliced images um, sorted out there. The next thing we're going to do is to actually save it for the web. So you go file and save for the web, save for web, and then we'll have this preview image come up here. And you can see we've got us. I need to move this over a little bit further so you can see. But this is our sliced sliced up image, um, ready to be output, ready to be saved and optimized for the web. So there's our first slice. Then we have the background slice. Then we've got the other three slices we created here. Now what I need to do is I need to actually optimize this for the web itself. So what I'll do is I'll just move the window over so you can see it, and we can start uh, playing around with the compression of the image and the image and to actually to select the image type. Um, this case is going to be a JPEG. We don't want it 100% because it's just going to make the file size too big. So we'll take that down to about 68 and then we're going to move over and we'll select the background image and again we'll, we'll just move that down to about say about 60 and we'll do the same for the others as well we'll keep the shift key down I should be able to select all three so we can actually optimize those three images for the table at the same time so again just go to optimize we'll take that down to say about 68 and then that's done I just have a quick look over this to make sure everything's sorted and covered good okay now what I'm going to do is just save that and I'm going to select the place to save that to so let's see desktop and I'll just save it to my desktop okay and what should happen then is it will save all those images all the sliced up images into an images folder 
and I'll show the images folder. I've just opened part of it there as you can see. So now here we are, these are all the images of that page. Now of course I have sliced up some of the other things there but this is really what we've just done. We've got the header, page holder, um, table header, table holder. So those are the ones that we've just done. The others, well, they were sliced up before so it doesn't really matter. Now that is basically how you go about slicing up a, a Photoshop file which could be for a website or in this case a direct response sales letter website. So there you have it. So hopefully that's helped and um, cleared up exactly how you go about slicing up images in Photoshop. As you can see, it's really quite straightforward. And don't forget to come back to um, bigsellingwebsitedesign.com for more um, tips and techniques and how to improve the conversions and selling performance of your website. So hopefully we'll speak to you again soon. Thanks very much.